What you doing? Setting my alarm clock. What for? To wake me up in the morning. What time? 6.30. Why? Because I don't want to sleep all morning. Why? What do you mean, why? Well, you're not going to work. No. You're not going on holiday. No. You don't even bother to soap your seal in the morning. So why the fuck are you setting your alarm for 6.30? What have you got to get up for? I am a creature of habit. You don't even have a lie-in on Sundays. Oh, so I should be like you, should I? Rotting like a corpse in bed until lunchtime every day, wallowing in my own dog spangle. Lovely. You should try it sometime. The other morning your undercarriage became so firmly glued to your encrusted blanket that you had to drag it around with you until tea time like an albatross. Albatross? It's from Shakespeare. Actually, I think you'll find it's from the Ancient Mariner. Ah, Wordsworth. Coolidge. Oh, fuck off. Right. You bastard! What did you do that for? Spite. Oh. And also because it was very funny. Now, go to bed and sleep till lunchtime. You'll thank me tomorrow. Oh, my God! Trevor was right! What a fantastic night's sleep! I feel young! I feel refreshed! I feel totally invigorated! What time is it? 6.30. Bollocks! This is my day! I'm a bit of an expert on reincarnation. I can tell who someone was in a previous life just by looking at them. For example, Hugh Grant used to be Queen Elizabeth I, Winnie Mandela was most Shaka Zulu, and Meryl Streep was once Herman Goering. I think that in a previous life, I was British singer-songwriter Joan Armatrading. I remember being born on the island of St Kitts in the mid-1950s, then emigrating to England in 1958. I vividly remember fusing folk music with bits of soul and reggae and carving out a niche for myself in the early 1970s, after which I recall collaborating with some former members of Fairport Convention and being catapulted into the UK Top 20 with a track called Love and Affection. I like writing songs on the guitar and I like to drink my own urine. My God, he's actually done it. Hamish has hanged himself. Not again. What? Third time this month. He only does it to get attention. Has he left a note? Yeah. What does it say? Three extra pints, please. Is that all? And a low-fat yoghurt. Shouldn't we cut him down? I suppose so. I'll go and get the first aid kit. He's slipping away. One of us is going to have to perform math-to-math -math resuscitation. I'd like to help, guys, but I'm currently suffering from a very acute form of halitosis. We've, We've noticed. noticed. You haven't, by any chance, been eating a mixture of bird seed, garlic and goat manure? Interestingly enough, yes, I have. I don't think he'd like me blowing in his mouth either. I've been up to my eyes in poodle snatch all night. The cat'll have to do it. What do I have to do? You simply clamp your mouth over his. Yes. After first removing any obstructions... Like half-digested foodstuffs... Or excess amounts of saliva. Right. And then you take a deep breath, grasp his face firmly in your hands, and then Do you... Do you mind if I just massage his heart? Fair enough. Where are you going? Call me when you're finished. I'm off for a sandwich. I think Dr Carter is fantastic. Over 20 patients actually died during the filming of that series. Really? No, not really. But they did used to keep Skippy the bush kangaroo in a sack between takes. My. 
This place is so white. Everywhere. White. Actually, it could do with turning down a little, if you ask me. Maybe a little magnolia here and there. Or peach, yes. Peach would be rather nice. Walk towards the light. Which light? How many lights are there? One. Well, walk towards that, dickwad. Right. Uh, that light up there? Yes. The big white one? Oh, give me strength. Okay, so what you're saying is this. I died on the operating table. Yes. And ten minutes later I was brought back to life when Trevor stuck an electric cattle prod up my dog star. Yes. But while I was dead, you say, I was reincarnated. I'm sure of it. And instead of being reincarnated in the future... Yes. You say I was somehow reincarnated in the past. Happens all the time. You think I went back to the year that Trevor was born. Yes. And I was reborn as Trevor. Yes. Which means that due to some vast cosmic cock-up, I am currently both that gut grimace in there... Hmm? And myself... Uh-huh. ...at the same time. Maybe you always were. How can I possibly share a soul with that complete arsewipe? How could the universe be so cruel? How could the laws of physics and metaphysics punish me so? I do not deserve this fate. Oi, donkey flaps. Would you mind keeping the noise down? I'm trying to empty me custard bag in here. Ah! You want to hear something really weird? What? If you were to drop dead right now... Yes? You might be reincarnated in the past again. And this time you could be born as a parrot. Are you saying that one day I could be you? No. I'm saying that you could be me already. Fuck. So now I'm all three of you. Or I am. In fact, we should seriously consider the possibility that there is only one of us. I wonder who you were in a previous life, little fishy pal. I have a feeling you might have been King Henry II, or the Big Bopper, or possibly Jeff Goldblum. Tomorrow, I'll take you for a nice walk. We could go to the video shop and get a copy of The Fly. Well, I think reincarnation is a load of old bolivers. When you're dead, you're dead, if you ask me. Yes, but you've never had a near-death experience, have you? I got my head trapped in the toilet once. I do so love these deep philosophical conversations with Trevor, don't you? He has such a finely tuned sense of his own mortality and spiritual destiny. Excuse me, I'm going to fart. You are in a deep sleep. A deep sleep. All you can hear is the sound of my little voice. Will I hear anything else? No. But what about background sounds like the sound of traffic outside? All right. You might hear a little background noise... But apart from that, all you will hear is the sound of my voice. Right. Shall we start? I can hear you breathing. So? Well, you said I would only hear the sound of your voice. OK. Apart from a little background noise and the sound of my breathing... And the clock ticking. And the clock ticking, all you can hear is the sound of my voice. You are floating, you are sinking... Am I floating or sinking? Sinking into a deep sleep a deep sleep when i snap my fingers you will be regressed to the moment of your birth the moment of my birth are you almost there i'm almost there at the moment of your birth at the moment of my birth it's uh a bit messy it doesn't matter now we will find out once and for all who you are one, two, three. Oh, right. Who are you? I am. Yes? I am. Who? I am me. Oh. I am myself. 
Ah? Uh? I am Joan Armour Trading. Fuck it! Free myself! I me myself! I oh no, feather dicks having the night horrors again. Will you shut the fuck up? How many times do we have to tell you? Amish is not Joan Armour Trading. I am not Joan Armour Trading. Furthermore, you are not Joan Armour Trading. You have never been Joan Armour Trading and you are never going to be Joan Armour Trading. Go to fucking sleep! Meow!